Hello students, today we will discuss the topic transcription in prokaryotes. Okay. And in prokaryotes, okay, transcription occurs in the cytoplasm. Transcription occurs in the cytoplasm. But whereas in the eukaryotes transcription occurs in the nucleus what might be the reason we know that in prokaryotes there is no true nucleus and uh, there is no nuclear membrane that's why the dna which is called nucleoid or genophore is present in, within the cytoplasm that's why in prokaryotes, this transcription as well as translation occurs in the cytoplasm only. And because of the absence of this boundary, that is nuclear membrane, and uh, this transcription and translation occur okay, almost uh, uh, simultaneously. Means what? That's why the transcription and translation in prokaryotes are coupled reactions in prokaryotes. But whereas in eukaryotes, after transcription, that mRNA has to, will come out of the nucleus and enters into the cytoplasm and then okay, undergo the process of translation. So in eukaryotes, Transcription occurs in the nucleus, whereas translation occurs in the cytoplasm. But in prokaryotes, both will occur in the cytoplasm. That is uh, uh, one point. And remember, in this transcription is required for the formation of RNA. We know that uh, oh, that is uh, that we learnt in the definition. Formation of RNA from a strand of DNA is called transcription. But which RNA? What is that RNA? Don't forget uh, uh, the RNAs are of uh, three types. RNA are of three types. Messenger RNA that is mRNA. Transfer RNA that is tRNA and uh, ribosomal RNA that is rRNA. So now the question is, this transcription occurs only in the, not the entire uh, uh, DNA and only a bit of DNA or segment of DNA and we call that uh, segment as what? Okay, a transcriptional unit or uh, uh, in that transcriptional unit, we already discussed in the previous video that uh, three uh, regions will be there. The first one is promoter site, second one is structural gene, and the third is termination site or terminator region. Okay, and uh, all these three types of RNAs are uh, uh, synthesized on the DNA only. But at different places. Okay. But uh, uh, enzyme is required, and what is the enzyme that is catalyzing this polymerization reaction? In prokaryotes, there is only one polymerization enzyme is there that is DNA dependent RNA polymerase. DNA dependent. RNA polymerase and this DNA dependent RNA polymerase is uh, a holo enzyme is a holo enzyme I hope you heard about uh, simple enzymes and holo enzymes Simple enzymes are completely composed of only protein 
whereas uh, holo enzymes okay are composed of a protein part and a non protein part i hope uh, uh, you learned this in the chapter biomolecules so a protein part and non protein part and the protein part is called apo enzyme and the non protein part is called cofactor okay here uh, this uh, rna polymerase enzyme is a holo enzyme so this is having two parts that is apo enzyme and uh, cofactor and the sapo enzyme is what uh, protein part and this protein is made up of uh, different types of polypeptides and what are those uh, different types of polypeptides alpha 2 beta beta okay dash and uh, omega so different types of they are named like that alpha 2 beta beta dash and uh, omega polypeptides make uh, the apo enzyme and uh, this is also called as core enzyme core enzyme and this core enzyme is capable of uh, catalyzing uh, polymerization reaction it is capable of catalyzing polymerization reaction but it will uh, uh, catalyze that reaction at any point not from the beginning so the poly that means here the rna should be formed from the beginning that is structural gene right from the beginning should be transcribed that is possible only when the sapo enzyme is uh, uh, with cofactor and the cofactor here is uh, sigma factor sigma factor so i hope you are understanding this uh, uh, core enzyme or the apo enzyme with sigma factor together called what holo enzyme and uh, this holo enzyme will catalyze the reaction right from the beginning of uh, the structural chain so uh, for any that's why for initiation which enzyme is required core enzyme or holo enzyme okay it is not core enzyme holo enzyme but once it starts uh, uh, the sigma factor is not at all required okay so uh, now let us see the process and uh, uh, the process of uh, this transcription in prokaryotes the process of transcription in prokaryotes occurs in uh, three steps one is initiation the second one is elongation okay that is initiation of uh, transcription or initiation of rna and the uh, second is what elongation elongation of rna strand and the third one is termination okay and now uh, let us say this is uh, uh, the enzyme that is let us, i am writing rna polymerase rna polymerase enzyme but you can see that uh, inside there is a sigma factor factor so that means uh, what enzyme it is it is core enzyme so we know that uh, this is what uh, uh, promoter site and uh, this is uh, let us say this is a terminator site and this is structural gene 
sort of uh, uh, the core enzyme is capable of identifying uh, this uh, uh, promoter region and it binds to it and then the, uh, the initiation starts or uh, uh, this uh, polymerization will start according to the complementarity. Means what uh, the RNA, let me say, don't forget that this is, uh, uh, let us say this is uh, 3 prime end and this is 5 prime and this is 5 prime and this is 3 prime. So, one strand is behaving as template strand, only template strand is transcribed. Okay. And now, uh, uh, you see, once it starts, now uh, these uh, nucleotides will uh, are arranged according to the complementarity. That means, suppose uh, if uh, on this template strand, I am just writing some uh, uh, nucleotides like this, A, G, G, C, C, T, T. Then uh, the RNA polymerase will bring uh, which one here? So, it can't bring uh, thymine, so uracil, and then uh, when G is there, so C, C, and C is here, so G, G, and T is here, so A, A. So, they are all uh, uh, okay, are attached with the help of what uh, phosphodiester bonds. So, this is uh, uh, different from uh, the DNA strand. So that's why it is called heterocatalysis. And remember that these uh, nucleotides are not added in the same form which we discussed already in uh, replication. They are uh, added in the form of uh, triphosphoric uh, nucleosides. Triphosphoric nucleosides. Nucleosides. Let us see what are these uh, triphosphoric uh, nucleosides ATP, GTP, UTP, and CTP. Okay. So, what is this uh, ATP? Adenosine triphosphate, guanosine triphosphate, uridine triphosphate. Cytidine triphosphate. So, that is why these uh, nucleosides are uh, uh, coming with uh, three phosphates because uh, the two phosphates, beta and gamma phosphates, will provide what energy? And as soon as they come here, uh, the two phosphates are released. And uh, now that means uh, these triphosphoric nucleosides are playing here also a dual role. What is the dual role? They are behaving as substrates as well as they are providing energy for polymerization. That is what uh, the dual role played by these nucleosides. Okay. Now, uh, let us see. Once uh, uh, this uh, formation of the strand starts, the sigma factor comes out. And okay. And now uh, this. Uh, RNA polymerase enzyme, that is core enzyme alone, will uh, okay, catalyze the reaction. And uh, as soon as it approaches okay, this uh, terminator site, as soon as it approaches the terminator site, uh, one factor will uh, uh, add up to this uh, uh, core enzyme, that is what, uh, okay, rho factor, rho factor. And the true factor will recognize uh, the terminator site and as a result of which, so now uh, this nascent uh, uh, RNA is released into the cytoplasm and uh, then even uh, the enzyme also along with uh, the row factor is released. And uh, remember that uh, here uh, uh, the two strands, uh, they are unwinded or uh, how, who is breaking uh, these hydrogen bonds in this, during this process. So, uh, during replication, we saw that one particular enzyme helicase helped in breaking the hydrogen bonds. But here, RNA polymerase itself will break uh, uh, the bonds and will move. Okay, like that, uh, that is called, uh, okay, I hope you are understanding. 
it is initiated by this uh, okay uh, holo enzyme initiated by the holo enzyme and then uh, uh, after initiation when it lost the sigma factor so only core enzyme has uh, uh, continued the elongation of this chain and then once it has reached this one the core enzyme so is associated with sigma sorry rho factor and as a result of which it is terminated and the rna is released okay and remember one important point here so the rna which is released is what rna so it is uh, uh, mrna so in the prokaryotes mrna is directly formed means what it doesn't require the post transcriptional processing is not at all required in prokaryotes because uh, uh, remember that the, the dna in uh, uh, prokaryotes doesn't have uh, intronic information only thing is that uh, the dna in uh, eukaryotes is having introns as well as exons okay uh, in a simple in simplified words so you can say that what are introns introns are useless uh, information and exons is useful information our coding information is uh, uh, exon and uh, non coding information is uh, intron and that's why even the rna that is formed in eukaryotes will contain uh, the introns as well as exons so uh, th that's why the that rna is called hn rna heterogeneous nuclear rna and that heterogeneous nuclear rna is undergoes processing that is post transcriptional processing and uh, as a result of which these introns are removed and the only exons are added to make uh, the mrna but here uh, uh, we we are getting what uh, directly mrna this point you just uh, uh, note down okay so this is what uh, transcription in prokaryotes